What's up, everybody? Welcome to my review of the Opto Bite by Latitude64. Big thank you to Dynamic Discs for sponsoring this video. You can go to dynamicdiscs.com to check them out. They've been an awesome sponsor. Hooked me up with so much great Latitude, Westside, and of course, Dynamic Discs plastic over the years. And I really appreciate their continued support. Go check them out, support them, order yourself something new, and uh, tell them I sent you. Let's get into the review of the Opto Bite. So, a very interesting disc. This is kind of a throw and catch disc. It's designed for to play catch with your dog, of course, and that's why it's called the Bite. It's in that durable Opto plastic, which I think should work out pretty good um, for that particular uh, application because it's much tougher than some of the cheaper plastic. Uh, if you just buy a regular Frisbee or something like that, your dog's probably going to chew it up pretty quick. Let's take a look at it. It's a very unique design. And just so you know, this thing is PDGA approved as evidenced by that marking right there. So that's the only reason I'm really reviewing this on the channel is because this is a disc that you could put in your bag and it's extremely unique and you're not going to really get the uh, same flight out of this, uh, this disc with many other discs out there. It's a pretty uh, unique and kind of individual on the market. You can see it's got that really interesting uh, kind of uh, raised top there. There's a little scooped rim around here where your thumb can line in, uh, line up, and it actually it feels pretty good in the hand. It's a little strange to throw with the shape for sure. Um, taking a look here, you can see it's not really a beveled edge disc, but it has a little bit of an indent here where most catch discs are perfectly round, completely around the outside. This one has that little bit of an indentation there that I, I hope uh, you're getting on camera. I think you are. These are all pretty lightweight. I'm not sure if this one's marked or what, but I think they're all 150 grams or so. I should weigh it. I'll weigh it um, in post-production and put the, uh, the weight on the screen just so you guys know. But you're not going to find these in max weight, so keep that in mind. Cute dog on the front here. Opto line, bite, and also I'll say latitude 64. There's some texture in here. And also say throw and catch there. So the Opto plastic feels like Opto, but it's very um, thin, so it's got much more kind of flexibility to it. This part will pop in really easy, and it doesn't feel like gummy per se, but it's definitely much softer than you know a traditional uh, Opto disc, just based on the fact that it's pretty thin and it's very lightweight, so it must be a little bit more uh, less dense in terms of the uh, actual plastic material itself. But the feel is pretty similar to Opto, maybe a little bit less grippy than uh, an Opto driver or a mid-range or a traditional putter or whatever. Um, but all in all, I don't mind the feel in the hand. It's definitely a little strange, but the fat of your hand kind and your thumb kind of tucks into that groove there. It's not too bad to throw. Not a lot of different things to put next to this disc that are very similar, but I have a couple things. One of which being the ESP Rattler. This is another kind of modified catch disc. Um, this one being from Discraft. This one I will be reviewing as well, very, relatively soon. And you can see it there next to the bite. So again, you can see the bite has that little bit of an indentation there, where the Rattler's just like a little Frisbee, basically. Smaller diameter as well. It can fit inside, and that's something interesting about this disc. I will put that in. Uh, I actually posted a video separate about this a while ago, but I'll put it in one clip at least. You can put another disc, like a putter, inside the bite and throw them both at the same time and they'll kind of split out and fly. It's pretty interesting. I'll put a, at least one clip of me doing that so you guys can see what I mean. Also, that is kind of a cool thing about the bite is that if you were to bag it, it'll basically kind of eat another disc and it won't really take up any extra space in your bag. Like you can kind of st stick a putter in there, kind of like a Sonic will do the same thing. You can actually like put another disc inside of it in your bag and it won't really take up any space which is pretty cool. And also, we have the DD Aviator, which is a fantastic ultimate lid. Um, put it up next to that as well, just to give you an idea. But it's not quite as, as big of a diameter as an ultimate disc, of course, but if you look at the, uh, the Aviator and the Rattler, you can see the Rattler is kind of just like a tiny version. So, pretty interesting. Okay, so the feel is fine. Takes you a little while to get used to throwing it. Um, just because it's not really, doesn't really feel like a golf disc. But the main thing you're going to have to get used to is the incredibly understable and kind of weird flight of this disc. Let's talk about it. You're going to see me throwing it a few times. You're going to see Andy throwing it and having a lot of trouble getting it to fly. It just seems like it wants to just rip over. And even though those shots don't really show any kind of a good flight out of it, I'm going to put at least one or two in the video so you can see what happens if you try to throw it with any kind of like 
golf disc power. This is something you have to really check up on, put it on a lot of hyzer. You can't throw it flat and expect it to fly unless you're just flicking your wrist like a little putt or a little toss to your buddy or to your dog. You know, there's no like reach back flat and pull through and get this thing to fly. It's not gonna work. You'll see James throw it, and we'll also see Team Latitude 64, Tristan Tanner, sent me a few clips of him throwing his bite because he is one of the um, few pros that I know of that actually carries this disc and uses it in tournament play. Thank you very much to Tristan, by the way, for submitting these clips so I can use them in the video. I appreciate it very much. You can find Tristan's YouTube channel in the description as well. Definitely go check him out and give him a subscribe. I'm sure he'll get back to posting a bunch more content in the off-season coming up. He will use it mostly for tricky approaches and kind of go for it putts where you can just pop it out there with almost no kind of uh, reach back at all and just like flick your wrist and it'll just fly on a laser. And that's honestly what I think this disc is probably best suited for is kind of like go for it putts or kind of turnover putts that need to hold to the right easy or like little like tricky approaches where you don't have a reach back or a run up at all. You can kind of just putt this thing out into the back end of the fairway or try to get up and down from tricky spots. It's not really a disc that I find super throwable um, for any kind of like distance, but that's not really what you'd use it for on the course. I can't really speak to it in terms of it being a, a dog disc. Um, you know, I don't have a dog to throw it to. I'd imagine it would work just fine. And I'm sure that the plastic is pretty durable, but you know, this is a disc golf channel, so we're more talking about what you'd use this for on the course. And for me, I think it would be for laser beam straight, like kind of floaty spin putts where you just flick your wrist and let it just kind of float out there. It doesn't veer off the line at all when you do that. It'll just hold either laser straight with no fade or it'll kind of move soft to the right. If you need to bend around a corner to the right and you have like very little room to work, this is something, again, you can use a putting motion and get a, a lot of floaty kind of glide out of this disc. Or you'll see Tristan throw it down on a hyzer with a lot of height and get like a high kind of pushing straight um, flip up type of shot that he'll use this thing for as well. So, very interesting disc. I don't think it's something that I would really need out there on the course, but I could definitely see where it could come in handy. I already have like my kind of beat up soft magnets that I can use in similar situations. You know, I can get them to hold a turnover putt without too much trouble because they're already beat up and flippy. They can hyzer flip and all the same stuff. Where I think the bite excels is that it's extremely lightweight and it has a ton of floaty glide to it. So if you have, again, no real reach back or any kind of angle to really work with, you can just kind of pop this thing out there and let it float straight in at the basket if you want to kind of go for a putt. Um, and not worry about it fading out on you or anything. It doesn't skip at all. Like it'll just land and, work and sit where it lands, which is nice. Um, definitely a good attribute of this thing. So go for it, putts. If you're an ultimate player um, and you wanted to have something that had like a lid type flight to it for certain shots, where you're just gonna kind of pretend you're tossing a pass to a buddy and just, you know, easy, just float it at the basket on some hyzer. It works out good for that for sure. And also be a great option to kind of warm up before rounds, get your body moving by throwing it around, playing catch with it because it's gonna be a lot softer to, uh, to grab and to catch than a golf disc would. And, and again, if you have this in your bag, you can pretty much tuck another disc into it. It's not really taking up any more space and it's very lightweight, so it's not really gonna add much to bog you down. Definitely an extremely unique disc that was pretty fun to test, albeit difficult to test and throw. Um, definitely uh, really will show you your form a little bit too, because if you put any kind of off axis on this thing, it's gonna flip fast and just wobble out and, and go nowhere, probably turn and burn, start to roll on you, all that kind of stuff. So if you can throw this thing on a hyzer flip and get it to fly straight and controllably and smooth, you know you're doing pretty good with your form. It'll definitely take some effort to do that. If you have any kind of a, yeah, weirdness with your form, this thing's probably just gonna turn over, wobble out, and not really do much. So if you can see Tristan is able to throw this thing relatively far, that is because he has really good angle control as a professional player. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you to the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. If you'd like to see your name listed in the credits of all the different videos that I post, you can check that out for as little as two bucks a month. You can join the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Please subscribe if you have not done so already. If you wish to stay tuned for future uploads, I will check you guys very soon. Cheers. Okay. Opto bite. Roller. That's what I get for trying to rip on it. 
Thank you so much for watching, and big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you would like to see your name listed in the credits of all of my videos, go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd.